Hello everyone, it's me Samuel Taylor Ackroyd and a very good morning from Manchester Airport. Today is Saturday the 23rd of July 2022 and today is one of the two days of the TAS Aviation Memorabilia Fair at the Runway Visitor Park at Manchester Airport which is the reason why I am going to the RVP today. Now the reason why I was interested in going to this fair is because I really wanted to meet Airliners Live because they have some very limited edition merchandise which caught my eye because I am a big fan of the Boeing 747 and if you know me well enough you will know that I am a fan of the Boeing 747. So as you guys know, back in 2020, Virgin Atlantic retired all of their Boeing 747-400 fleet and Airliners Live, who are based at Manchester Airport, got to see all of the Virgin Atlantic 747 retirement flights out of Manchester Airport and because of that, Virgin Atlantic actually managed to get some really cool key rings made out of the 747 nicknamed Ladybird which is registered as Golf Dash Victor Alpha Sierra Tango and only 200 of these key rings have been made and are on sale for £30 so I really wanted to get down to this fair so that that way I am able to buy one for myself as I'm a big fan of Airliners Live in fact I'm actually one of their channel members and I'm a big fan of the Boeing 747 and because I never got to see a Virgin Atlantic 747 in person I thought that it would be nice to have one of these key rings as it's made from an actual Virgin Atlantic 747 skin. So it is currently 9.23 in the morning and the fair opens up at 10am inside the Concord hangar. Wow, this place is amazing when this fair is on. There's so much to buy here and so much to see. Just saw the people that I'm trying to meet. The guys from Airliners Live. So I'm going to go over and say hi to them. Quite a few people here to see Airliners Live today. He was talking about this and I was like, Yeah, he was in the sport as well. Yeah. Are you ever in the chat? I'm running the way. That's why it's like 426. Hi there, really nice to meet you. Uh, you too. Martin. Yes, right. that's it. Yeah, hi. just wanted to make sure I wouldn't Andy get Martin and Andy yeah. mixed up. You, say hi to my YouTube Hello. video. How are you doing? You okay? Came down here to actually meet you guys because um, I also wanted to get yeah. one of the tags. Get one of the tags. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how you do it. Here we go. Oh. And, you know, a cap as well, yeah? Yeah, I'll go for a cap. I was thinking I would like. God, there you go. So a lot of people out in RVP wearing them, and I thought, you know, I want to blend in. Yeah, good. Yeah, they they're really good actually. We wear ours. All they look time. good. Yeah, they really. I mean, it all looks good. Yeah, yeah, they they're good quality, good quality caps. Um, Absolutely. Okie dokie. Um, there's a bit of a queue. <laughs> Just a bit. Wonder why? Yeah, general. Because uh, like, you guys are awesome. Appreciate it, mate. So you tune mm. in a lot, yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm actually one of your uh, premium economy members. Mega. Please. And I saw your um interview on the Departure Lounge podcast. Yeah. Because of you, I actually became a moderator of the show. Oh, good. Nice. Mm. Yeah, it's a good podcast. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Good friends with Tom and the gang. Nice. But uh, I mean, right now I'm not moderating for some personal reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's I'll be fine. back on it soon. Good, good. Yeah, no, it's a really good mm. show that. Hope to be back. Good people. Have you back? Yeah, and um, and they had um, Noel Phelps, and they're Phelps having the Jeb Brooks on for a second time on Sunday. Oh, mega. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting some good guests on now. I think that's what they needed as well, just to get some influencers on Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Really start building the brand up a bit, so that's, that's really good for us. So Absolutely. Great to see you as well, mate. Yeah, nice I'll, to see uh, you too. Well, uh, you be a bit yeah. If you pop yeah. down and see Jen, she'll sort the thing out with you, mate. It's Thank you, Martin. You, Very nice to meet you, Martin. You I'm Samuel, by the way. Nice to meet you, Sam. Yeah, and that's John yeah. and Andy as well. Nice Cheers, to meet mate. you all. Appreciate it, Sam. Okay, was this yours? Tag in a cap? Yep, yep, this is mine. Brilliant. Airliner, Mrs. Airliner's live. Oh no, I'm on yeah. camera. <laughs> <laughs> I can blur you out if you want. It's alright. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you, even though I've never seen your face in person on the show. Andy, what's your name? Uh, Samuel Taylor Ackroyd. Oh, nice to meet you. Okay, so that's £45. Oh. Brilliant, that's all gone through. Um, there you go. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing nice to meet you. I'll maybe come back later on just to speak. Yeah, of course, yeah, no problem. See you guys later. See you later. Andy, you failed. Bye. So I've bought some Airliners Live merchandise. As you can see, I've got one of their caps. Saw a lot of people out at the RVP wearing them, so I'm glad to be blending in. And I got what I came down here for, one of the Airliners Live Boeing 747 key rings made from the skin of one of the Virgin Atlantic 747s, which are now retired. The one nicknamed Ladybird and registered Golf Dash Victor Alpha Sierra Tango to be more exact. But that's not me done for today here at the fair because there's still a lot of really cool stuff here and a lot of really cool stalls that I want to have a look at. And um, a bit later on I'm going to go back and have a chat with the Airliners Live team. But it was really nice to meet them and I have absolutely nothing but respect for all of them. And their enthusiasm about my video was just really good and I'm really glad to have met them. But now I'm going to go have a look at some more stalls and spend a bit more money here. But before I go and have a look at some more stalls, here is a glimpse of the British Airways Concorde parked here in the Concorde hangar at the RVP. <laughs> This is definitely a great place to have this Concorde and definitely the right place to have this fair. Okay, that's a really cool looking model of a British Airways 747-400. £695 though. I don't really see myself paying that much for that model. Yeah, there's definitely a big queue of people who are wanting to meet airliners live and buy some of their merchandise. It's not hard to see why though. Over at this stall over here, we have a few more professional aircraft models from companies like Gemini Jets and Herpa. A lot of these are really cool and I'm definitely very tempted to actually buy one of the models. Obviously not one of the 1-200 to 200 scale models as, as they're quite expensive and they're quite big. 1-400 scale will do for me. So I've just noticed the Gemini Jets 1400 scale model, so it's those that I'm going to have a look at as they are the most interesting to me. Model of a British Airways Concorde. And for 29 quid that is quite cheap, so I might look into getting that if there's no other models that catch my interest. All the cheap prices at this stall are definitely tempting me to actually buy at least one model. I've got a bit of spending money from family members, so I might actually do that. So I've just noticed three Gemini Jets 1400 scale Boeing 747-400 models in a row. One from El Al, one from British Airways, which I actually got for my 16th birthday back in 2021. And an Eva Air 747-400. There's even more in this box. So this box is actually catching my interest. Another British Airways. 747-400 in the standard livery, which I've already got. The National Airlines livery is definitely really nice. I've only just noticed on the box that this model is dedicated to saying goodbye to El Al's Boeing 747s, which have been around since 1971 and retired in 2019, so I'm definitely buying this El Al 747-400 model as well as the National Airlines 747 model. All done? Yep, okay. 
Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, Have a nice you. day. Thank you. Definitely really nice looking models over there. However, no doubt they will cost a couple hundred quid, especially the Airbus A380 model and the KLM Boeing 747-400 model. So I ended up spending a total of about £77 on these two models, both of which are Gemini Jets 1-400 scales and are Boeing 747-400 aircraft. One from National Airlines and the other one from El Al. And as El Al have retired their Boeing 747 fleet, it's definitely appropriate to buy this as some memorabilia, especially as the Boeing 747 is my favourite aircraft type but somehow I get the feeling that I'm not done shopping yet. And my suspicions were right because I ended up purchasing the Gemini Jets 1400 scale British Airways Concorde model from the same stall that I bought the two 747-400 models from. Got this for 29 quid, which was definitely better than paying 40 pounds for the same model a few stalls down. So I definitely feel like I've got a bargain here, especially considering that this model wouldn't normally cost £29. So I definitely got a great deal at that stall and the guy behind the counter was definitely very friendly. I wonder if we've got any, I think we've got some, maybe some Sim 47 tires over there as well. Mm. The, uh... Got one of those just a few minutes ago from um, the Airliners Live team over there. Good. From uh, the 747 uh, Ladybird from Virgin Atlantic. Ah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we've got lots of Ladybird tags actually online. We have Ladybird. Yeah, we have, he, has, he has the actual Ladybird off the side of the plane. Wow. Yes. What, the, um, the word Ladybird, the piece of the 747 with the word? The actual girl. Oh, do you actually? He does. Wow. Yeah. Are you filming? Uh, yeah, I'm a YouTuber and I like to... Um, I was filming my experience here um, awesome. at the fair as um, I've never been to this kind of thing before and um, I like to uh, vlog my aviation experiences. Cool. Well, you can ask this him both of them. Can you film that? Put it on YouTube. Sorry for filming this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was both of them at the house. And then... Let me just get you there. This it's hard is... to think you've got both of those. So, no, I've got one. I sold one. That's in my living room. Great place to have it. And great look as well. <laughs> Thanks. Even if I only have, like, a key ring made of the, of the skin, at least I have some of... At least I have a bit of the aircraft. Make sure you tag him when you put it online then and he'll be... Uh... So this is Mike from the deck door to manual, our 747 experience stall at uh, the fair here at the Runway Visitor Park. And he works with the people who are taking the upper deck of a British Airways Boeing 747 up here to City Airport near Manchester. So. Mike, um, can you tell us what's happening with the upper deck? Sure. So basically, I think you've put it quite well. On the 11th of August, we're bringing a top deck of a 747. Uh, it's a, a Golf Alpha is the uh, registration. And it's coming up uh, on the back of a truck from Kemble Airfield to uh, Manchester Barton Airport uh, on the 11th of August. It's leaving um, Gloucester about 6 a.m. We expect the journey will take between five and seven hours, depending on traffic, depending on where we have to stop, etc. But ultimately, the, 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 the chance to bring or, or, or sort of save part of a 747 was unmissable for us. Uh, and what we're trying to do is make it into more than just uh, uh, you know a bit of aircraft. It's actually going to be an event space. Uh, it's going to be a visitor centre. Uh, it's going to have a shop there from doors to manual. And probably most excitingly of all, it's going to be a flight simulator. The flight simulator piece is probably going to be more likely next year, but this year we're going to get it up and running so people can come and visit it, uh, get to see a bit of aircraft history, and I think, as we spoke earlier, a lot of these aircraft now retired, being cut up, scrapped, so we just wanted to yeah, take the opportunity to save a piece of a piece of aviation history for, uh, for years to come, hopefully. Well, I hope to come and see the upper deck of this BA-747 someday, and um, well, whether or not I'll be able to make it to see it arrive at the airport, I don't know. I hope to, if I can maybe work something out, but if I can't, in the coming years I will definitely be sure to come and visit it at some point. But 
It was really nice meeting Thank you me. and talking to you. All right, take care. We'll see you Hope soon. to see you again soon. Maybe when um, the upper field, deck, yeah, yeah. when the upper deck gets brought to the airfield Thanks near Manchester. Thank really you very nice much. to meet you. Have a good day. You too. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. I'm back over at the airliner's live stall to have a look at some of the pictures that they have taken and put on display and I'll see if they're up for chat because they said that they were earlier. These guys definitely have talent because look how amazing these pictures are. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an awkward yes, in as well. Okay. okay. Yes, you are. Hi there again, Martin. That's all right. Nice Just came you. over to have a wee chat with you. As I'm, of course, I've already bought merchandise, and as you can yeah, see, I'm looking good. Wearing it. Mega. Definitely feel like I blend in. Good lad. Good. And the. Definitely love the key tag. And I've got to ask you, are you in the team up for um, maybe autographing it? If you wish, yeah. Um, we can do it. It's not something we've done before. So um, you do the flight simulator shows. Indeed. The only person missing from the stall is uh, Henry. Yes, unfortunately he's a little bit too mm. far away. He's sleeping at the moment. Pity he couldn't it's... fly from yeah. Vancouver. That would have been good. It would have been good. But I, have, I have spoke to him this morning, so he's uh, he's had a quick look around. So. He's nice. out and about, but yeah, no, yeah, Hemi's, Hemi's great, great. Maybe we should just have him on the TV over there. Yeah, just a permanent video for Aye. him so you can say hello. Just have like him. a FaceTime, <laughs> FaceTime call or something, yes. so that way it's like you're all here. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah, mm. we can do that for you, mate, if you want. Um, this is have you got your time idea. Uh, yeah, I've got yes, it in my bag. Hold on. That's on okay. right, just um, on the um, top here, not on the actual key ring. That's on, on there, yeah? Yeah, just to make sure that the key ring stays in mint condition. Yeah. Do you want it on here where there's a bit more space or up here over the lettering? Either one will do. I reckon there's best. Definitely won't be removing the key ring from a um, bit of cardboard there. Yeah, no, good. <laughs> Autographs together and the actual key ring. Yeah, Apologise in advance, my handwriting is absolutely oh, dying. Oh, it can't be any worse than mine. Oh, mate, it is too small. Mm. Am I going to give it a sign? Mm. Hi there, Andy. How are you doing? You right? Yeah, nice to meet you. you nice to meet you too. Nice to see wearing matching caps yeah. as well. Oh, oh yes. Even I haven't got one. Sorry. Can I give this my face as well? Yeah, no, if, no, yeah no. can do. So we're live from... There you go. Definitely won't be coming off this bit of cardboard for this. Yeah, I leave mine on the ca cardboard, you know. Because it, yeah. like, it keeps it in like a nice contained... Yeah, definitely. Uh, right? Is that all you're getting, is it? Have they put, you, put it through? Uh, I've already... I actually bought this earlier when I bought the uh, cap. It's all aviation content on YouTube. Right. I actually came down here just to meet you guys and buy one of these because when I first heard the announcement, because uh, I'm a premium economy member, I, I got so excited. Um, I was at my dad's house. I'm running down to my dad. I'm like, you know what? I'm staying down here in England a day longer and then coming back up to home to Scotland the day after just so I can go meet these guys and get some of their merchandise. Because how can anyone resist this? Especially when it's made from a real 747 that's retired. Because they've already sold 110 uh, from pre-orders, so we only had like 90 um, coming in, and we sold loads today. Then, well, so. uh, mm. I'm surprised to even have any left, to be honest. I know, honest. I'm surprised as well. <laughs> well, it was really nice to meet you, and I look forward to the future well, streams. Nice, nice meeting you too. Yep. Well, so really yeah, nice. Feel free to nice meeting you. Yeah, please nice meet you. Okay. In fact, on when you all have the time, is it alright if I get a photo with all of you? Yeah, yeah so yeah. we're here till about three. So if you come, let's say, after midday, it should be a bit quieter, and we can, right. we can get a photo with the banner and everything, so... Yeah, we'll definitely sounds do good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll come by about, so I'll come back up around about three? Um, about two, I'd say, yeah. Alright, about, about yeah. two o'clock yeah, or something. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. be here for most of the day, no, no doubt, anyway. Awesome, yeah. Great. Already bought three Gemini Jets models. Wow. Awesome. Mm. Great stuff. Hi, guys. Yeah. Okay? So yeah. I'll see you about two, then. Sounds good. Right. We'll be all see you, Andy. We'll for you. See you, guys. See you, now. See you, mate. See ya. Words cannot describe how happy I am right now. Meeting some of my favourite YouTubers, buying some of their merchandise, especially the limited edition keyring from an actual 747 skin, and they autographed it. This is something that I'm going to be treasuring forever. Same with uh, the Airliners Live Cap. These guys are just, they're so freaking awesome. And uh, they agreed to a picture uh, later on in the day. It's uh, still the morning actually, it's between uh, 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so still got the whole day ahead of me and I'm already enjoying myself. Definitely spent a lot of money on um, the Airliners Live merchandise, about 45 quid in total, 
So £15 for the cap and £30 for the keyring and a hundred and something pounds for three Gemini Jets 1400 scale models, two 747-400s, one from National Airlines and one from El Al, and a Concorde. So I decided to come outside just to get a bit of fresh air and uh, get a drink of Sprite because I was thirsty. I also got a Twix from um, the uh, aviation cafe here at the RVP. And no doubt at all you can definitely hear music in the background. It's um, someone um, singing for um, donations for cancer research. And once I've had my Sprite and my Twix, I'm going to go over and um, put some coins in one of the buckets because that guy's doing a very good job at singing. Hey guys. You're welcome. So my dad and his girlfriend paid me a bit of a surprise visit while on their drive back home to Scotland and they had a look around with me and my dad got me these two safety cards, one from an American Airlines Boeing 737 and one from a JetBlue Airbus A320. He also got me a framed picture of the British Airways Boeing 747-400 in the British Overseas Airways Corporation livery with the red arrows surrounding it. Definitely a great picture to have as the red arrows are one of my favourite military aircraft types and the Boeing 747 is my favourite aircraft type full stop. Definitely a great picture and I would definitely recommend getting it if you're interested. Do not hesitate to do so if you have the money to do so everyone so I have left the runway visitor park at Manchester Airport because I've pretty much done everything that I've wanted to do at the fair in fact I got to do more than what I planned to do at the aviation fair I got three new Gemini Jets 1400 scale models I got two safety cards and a framed picture of the British Overseas Airways Corporation liveried Boeing 747-400 with the red arrows flying next to it, as well as do what I planned to do in the first place, which was meet the team at Airliners Live, and which I managed to do, and got some of the merchandise. I got one of their caps, and I got what I wanted. I got one of the Airliners Live Boeing 747 key rings, which, as I've said already in the video, has been made from an ex-Virgin Atlantic Boeing 747-400, which is nicknamed Ladybird and registered as Golf Dash Victor Alpha Sierra Tango. And what makes this key ring even better is that I got Martin, Andy, and John from Airliners Live to autograph the cardboard containing the keyring and because of that I'm definitely never taking the keyring off of the cardboard that it's hooked up to and because I've got the autographs of the guys at Airliners Live this is definitely something that is true value to me and something that I will definitely not be getting rid of it was also really nice to meet the moderators as well as Mrs. Airliners Live. And I definitely appreciate Martin and Andy agreeing to take a photo with me in front of their banner at the stall. And they were not just doing that with me, they were doing that with any fan that comes up to them and asks. So I am definitely so glad that I got to come down here to the TAS Aviation Memorabilia Fair at the Runway Visitor Park and it is definitely something that I will never truly forget. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.